Hello, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. Sorry if I sound like a little sick. I'm like prime admits of my cold, but I'm really excited about this because I it is an update for my year-long project pan and we are at the midpoint through the year. So first I just wanted to do a quick little recap to show you the products I have already moved out of this project. So I've already finished the e.l.f. Coreless Face Primer, Smashbox Limitless Longwear Lip Gloss, my Body Shop Lipstick, it's actually like, yeah, right here, it's kind of like got really gross near the end of it, and my Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. So I started to get a little nervous because we're up till this update, halfway through the year, and I'd only finished four products, and as you can see from the title, I'm trying to finish up 18, but this past, like, month slash six weeks has been such a a game changer for me and I did finish up all these products within June but just with the timing of my schedule I didn't get around to posting till now but first I'm going to show you the products I've finished up. I'm really happy that I finally finished up this e.l.f. translucent powder. As you can see it is completely done. I do not enjoy this powder at all. I found that it was not finely milled and it kind of went on my face in chunks. That being said, this powder is quite old, so they may have reformulated, or it could just be the fact that it is an older powder, but I really did not enjoy it, and I'm so happy to have it out of my collection, and it can stop making a mess everywhere, and I can stop reaching for something that I don't really love. Another product I finished up was my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this was in the shade Neutralizer, so you can see my updates throughout, and I finished it. I'm so happy. I did really enjoy this, but... I don't think this is my preferred shade. The neutralizer shade is a bit more yellow toned and I don't really love it. Their fair shade is like perfect for matching my complexion. So it's great for touch ups and like covering up blemishes. And I really want to try their brightening shade which is a bit more pink. So I'm still interested in the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealers just not the neutralizer shade. This is the first perfume I've ever finished and this is my Lancome Miracle So Magic. I put tape on the side so I wouldn't ruin the bottle so now I can keep the bottle because it's kind of like a thing in my family. My grandmother collected perfume bottles, my mom did so I kind of want to start. I think it's like a fun little tradition to carry on and I'm so happy that I finished it. I've had this for a really long time and it didn't go off which was great and I'm so happy I was able to utilize it. I really loved the scent. It was nice and pleasant and floral. I'm just happy to have it finished though and it's not something I would repurchase but it is something that I did really enjoy having in my collection. This one's pretty exciting. This is my e.l.f. Sunkist Glow Bronzer and like this completely came off but as you can see like I finished up everything. I'm so happy. I have gone through another one of these bronzers previously. It was like the only makeup product I'd like basically ever finished but I didn't know about repressing them, so I had, still had a lot of stuff on the sides, but I thought I was done, so I repressed this in my last update, and I was able to finish up with it in, in this time period, and I'm really happy about that. Next product I finished up was my Hard Candy Brows Now Brow Fiber Gel, and the fiber gel part wasn't really what I was focusing on. I was more so marking the highlighting part, but the brow gel, it's like, it's basically done, so... This kind of finished off a little bit before the highlighter, but it's nice that I was actually able to finish up both parts of it. And as you can see, like it does not roll up anymore. It is completely done. I'm so happy to have finished this. I really liked having just an easy product to like swipe under my eyebrows to kind of give them that highlighted effect. And I don't really have anything else in my collection like this. So I don't think it's something I would go out and repurchase right away, but I kind of did like the idea of having something that was dedicated to that. It might be an extra product, but I felt like it made that step in my routine much faster. And I also love using it as like an inner corner highlight down the bridge of my nose. And just to give you an idea of where I was last time with this product, this is it here. So I had quite a bit left, but I was really able to just get through it. I really focused on it. I used it, like I said, down the bridge of my nose. I used it as a highlighter a few times because I was just like, it's so close, I really wanted to get it out before the next update. Next thing is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. Anyways, I don't really love the idea of putting mascaras in projects. It was good because it made me reach for it more. I had a few open and it made me really focus in on this one. But with mascaras, I kind of use them till they're no longer good. And I don't really follow like the three, six month rule, whatever it is. Um, 
probably should. So if I do get into that, then it's like, it's really their point putting in a project because I know there's a time constraint on it anyways. So I was really happy. It has been open a while. It let me use it up and it's just gotten like very gloopy. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like stuff like, yeah, there's just like a lot going on and I found that it was getting really dry and flaking off my lid. So I feel like I definitely use this up to the best of its ability and I'm really happy about that. But at least in year-long projects, I don't think I'd be incorporating mascaras. I think that's something I would consider putting in more of like a seasonal or shorter term project. And the last product I have finished up is my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is the Shine Free. It's supposed to be their mattifying one. So when I first started it, I was here and last update I was here and surprisingly this little bit took me like a whole month to finish. So there was a lot of that little section right there, but I'm so happy to have this out of my collection. This was like the least favorite primer I owned. I just found like it is completely not mattifying at all. In fact, it almost made me look oilier. And the way I found to make this work to the best of its ability was to put it on my face and then like do something else for like five to ten minutes to let it sink in. So usually I would do this and then maybe I would do my hair or do something else and then come back and do the rest of my makeup. But it's annoying if you're in a rush in the morning and you don't have time to wait that ten minutes for the primer to sink in. So I was really not a fan of this product, would not repurchase it, definitely do not consider it mattifying and I'm so happy though that I was like able to actually finish it and get it out and now my collection is just primers I love because this and the e.l.f. one were like my two least favorite and like they were like down here and everything else was like up here so I'm really happy that like those two are out and everything else is just like primers I really like. So in case you weren't counting along, that is seven products I have finished up since my last update which means I will be rolling seven in. But before we get to that, I want to show you the progress on what is still remaining in the project. With my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, I did take the stop route at the last update. And there is still, I don't know how you're going to be able to see this, there's still a lot in there. And originally I had marked it here at my last update, but I would say that's still where I am. I've really been scraping the sides a lot and you can see a lot more through the sides. And if you look at it here, when I put it in, only this part of the wand has product on it so I do think this line is very accurate and I can look in and I can see that this is very accurate and I have used it a lot this past month probably more so than any other time and like I said I didn't really make progress I think this line that I put on my last update was kind of like artificial it wasn't the true line but now it really is the true line so hopefully I can keep working on this it isn't my favorite foundation I really loved it when I first got it, but I am just so over it, and I'm really just like, I'm going to keep working on it. It's a great filming foundation. It's not the one I'm wearing today, but I do like to wear it for filming. I think that's a great way to use up a foundation I'm not like super fond of, but still want to see through, and I find that it can look a little cakey, but when you wear it for like about half an hour, it kind of does take that time to like warm up and melt into the skin, and it doesn't look that bad going out. But when you first put it on, I'm like, I would not want to leave the house that way. But when I give it time to like set and kind of go in and I spray it down and everything and give it like some time, then it can actually look really good. So something I got to focus on a bit more. So I just added this product in in my last update. And this is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And if you can see the mark, I was about halfway when I first put this in the project. And now I'm already down here. There's not a lot of product in here, about 12 grams. Um, it was less than that when I started because this wasn't a new product, obviously. And yeah, I'm really happy with my progress. I've been using it to set my eyes. I really like how it looks. I've heard that there are some that have more like shimmer in them. I did not have a problem with this one. I'm really enjoying it and happy that I'm using it up. With this one, there's like no real good way to track my progress. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Eye Primer. And like I look in there and it looks like the product is only really down at the bottom like about here and maybe a bit on the sides but every time I take out the wand there's still enough product to put it on my eye so until that stops being the case I will continue to use it. I don't think this is something I would consider taking the stopper out just because I have had this product a while. I don't really overly love it and I have other eye primers in my collection I want to start utilizing so I think once this comes out and I can't get product out, I won't take the stop row, but honestly, I do not see that happening anytime soon. Because every time I look in, I'm like, there's basically nothing in there, but there seems to always be stuff on the wand, so I don't really know how this is going to go. I'm really hoping I can finish this by the end of the year, because I do not want to bring this into 2019. 
I kind of have been taking a little bit of a break from this next product. This is my Benefit Cabrow in shade 3. Shade 3 is like actually not my shade, but it came in a kit. Anyways, this is where I am. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like a little bit of a divot in the middle. It, it looks like we could be at the bottom in the middle. I don't know. What do you guys think? I will post a picture because I feel like that was like super blurry. And as you can see, the progress. And I'm happy with it. I've found a way to make it work. I know now that I 100% prefer eyebrow pencils. I do not think pomades are for me. I do not like them. They're just... Yeah, I like I really want to continue using it and use it up, but I do not foresee myself ever purchasing another pomade because one, they take forever to go through, two, they look terrible on my brows. So like what's what's the point? I do not enjoy this. But I will continue to use it. We will get there eventually. Maybe not this year. I really have my debts about finishing this up in 2018. On to my blush. This had pan at the beginning of the year and I really thought this was going to be a lot faster going than it is. It actually cracked recently so I'm going to show you a picture of what it was before I repressed it and after I repressed it and where we're currently at. So this is where I currently am and there has been, I have been using it, there's like or did not pack as hard as it was before. There's definitely like a lot of like powderiness around the outer ring I like there was no way I could press it back as hard as when I originally bought this product but I'm kind of happy with that because I feel like it's gonna help me go through the product a little bit faster and part of me is a little sad because I do enjoy this blush and I'm like oh and they don't make it anymore so like once I get rid of it I won't be able to like find it but I'm sure there's a dupe out there and I've had it for a really long time and I don't know the idea of finishing up a blush is also very exciting so here we are and now that I've repressed it I, I really feel more confident that I can finish this within the next six months. Okay, on to the products on my sheet. I feel like this is a really long update. I'm sorry if you do not enjoy long videos. So first product is the NYX White Eyeliner. And I would say this is like the most I've ever used. Oh, there it is. And you can see this is where I am and where I started. And I'm really happy with that progress I'm making. I'm definitely not someone who sharpens my pencils a lot. And I think that's why it has been so slow going. So I definitely want to make sure that I am sharpening my pencils more frequently, not to waste product, but also for like bacteria reasons. I think it's probably safer for my eyes if I do sharpen the pencils more regularly. This one, like this is the Annabelle Black Eyeliner I have been using. There have not been any updates in the last two updates. I've used it maybe once since the last update and before that maybe used it once in that one. It is just not something I'm focusing on because black can be a little harsh for summer and also I'm really focusing on my Rimmel one. So this is the Rimmel Scandalize in Aubergine. So this is what I usually use to tight line and I really love the plum against my green eyes. And I've made quite a bit of progress with this one. I would say since the last update you can see there has been quite a bit of progress and if you look at where I started, I feel like I can definitely finish this up within the next six months. And I'm starting to think about like Right now I just use it to tight line and I was kind of playing around with it and like kind of putting it on the upper lash line and smoking it out a bit and that actually looked really pretty so I think I need to start using this in a way other than just tight lining because clearly that is not going well for me. Like the progress is there but it's very slow and I've already had this for quite some time and because I'm using this I'm not using the Annabelle one or any of the other eyeliners in my collection really. So. It is something I want to start trying to think about different ways to use it. This product has not gotten a lot of love recently just because I got a bunch of highlighters in a Sephora haul and I've been slowly testing them out. I got two glow kits plus another standalone highlighter so a lot of highlighters to test out and I didn't want to be wearing this one on top of them because I wanted to see how those performed on their own. That haul update will be up shortly. I just like really want to make sure I'm testing everything thoroughly. But this is my Benefit What's Up, and there was a little bit of progress, but not a whole lot. I'm slightly concerned about my ability to finish this in the next six months, but when I look at my progress overall, it looks like not quite halfway, but there has been substantial changes. And I am thinking now that I've finished up this product and I don't have something that's solely dedicated to highlighting my under eye area, under eye area, like my brow highlight, that this could work there, so I'm thinking maybe... I use it for that as well as my cheekbones and that can 
help me use it up just that tiny little bit faster. So I only used this next product about once or twice since my last update, and this is my MUA Anti-Bleed Lip Liner. And the reason why this is not getting more use is because I am currently doing a lip challenge where I'm trying to use every lip product in my collection at least once before I go back to using any of them again. So I've already used this and I still have like a hundred more lip products to go. So I will not be using this again for some time, but I'm really not concerned about my ability to finish this because I think once I get through everything and I start refocusing on this, I think it's going to go really fast as long as I remember to use it every day once I get past the other hundred lip products. This next product is almost there. This is my e.l.f. lip scrub. And as you can see, there's been a lot of changes since my previous updates, and I'm really happy with it. I have like very, very little left. As you can see, someone suggested to me in my very first video to put it in my shower, and it has made such a world of difference of going through it because I never forget to use it, and it also goes on so much nicer, and my lips feel like even more softer and exfoliated when I use this in the shower, so I'm really loving it, and I... I mean, if this is around by the next update, I will be very, very surprised. Okay, on to the products I am rolling into this project. And I was thinking about, because it's the halfway point, this might be the last month I roll anything into the project, because my goal is just to finish 18 products in 2018. And as you can see, there's some I'm not quite sure it can happen with, which is why I have been rolling stuff in. But it's already, like, halfway through the year, and I'm worried that if I roll something in any later, like, there's not even going to be like a realistic possibility for me to finish it up. So this might be the last month I roll things into this project. I'd love to know what you guys think about that. Do you think I should continue to roll things into a later month or it makes sense to stop now for rolling things into this project? So now that you've thought about that, let's get into what I'm adding into this project. This is the Fit Me Concealer in shade 10 Light. I'm already right here. And this is probably too dark for me because 15 is actually fair and 10 is light, which I did not realize because usually the lowest number is the fairest shade. So I bought shade 10, which is too light, but for the summer it can kind of work. I have worn it under my, under my, I have worn it in the under eye area and it hasn't been too dark or anything. So it, I don't feel like bad using this product, but I just realized like it doesn't really give the whole brightening effect, which might be the point of concealing under your eyes. So hopefully we can get through it. Next is the NYX Angel Veil, and I'm about here. I really think this is just like an okay primer. I was so excited to buy it. I heard so many people talk about the NYX Angel Veil, and now that I have more primers in my collection, I realize like it's it's a decent primer, but it doesn't do anything like spectacular for my skin. It's not like extra hydrating. It's not like extra blurring or mattifying. It's just kind of a product that I use, so I'm happy with how it looks, but it's not something I feel like I need in my collection because of all the other primers I do have. So this is the next primer I'm hoping to get out. This next product is from Seventeen, which I believe is like a Boots name brand. And this is the Blemish BB Balm All-in-One Magic BB Balm thing. Anyways, it says it can improve skin within four weeks. It has an SPF of 25. I'm not sure that SPF is still accurate. And I'm right here. And this is in the shade light, which is their lightest shade, but it's quite dark, actually, so I feel like I can only really wear it in the summer or once I have a bit more color. So I thought, I'm already here, might as well just put it in, use it up, and have, like, one ex less thing in my drawers. And even though I told you about that lip challenge, and I haven't even worn this next product yet, it is something I want to roll in because, like I said, I'm thinking I won't roll anything in after this point, and I know this is a lip product I do not want in my collection by 2019, just because it is the oldest lip product in my collection, and it is a Sephora lipstick. And as you can see, I don't really have too much left. I'm not concerned about, like, only using this for a few months and being able to finish it because I know I have to go through that other 100 lip products, but I know that, honestly, I feel like if I focus on this for, like, at least, might mean not even three months to finish this, so I'm really not concerned about my ability to finish it. But we probably won't see any progress on it for quite some time. Originally, I wasn't sure if I was going to put another fragrance into this project, but looking through my collection, I realized I actually have two of these, so I was like, well, I might as well just put one in and use it up, and this is like a, it was a gift, so I'm not really sure. I don't really know much about it. It's called Bebe is the brand, B-E-B-E. -E. If you're at all familiar with it, let me know, and it's like a little refillable thing, so I have another one of these, so I was like, I might as well use one up, 
and this is the marking right now. I had been wearing it for the past few days just to make sure it was something I was interested in. I like the fragrance enough to be wearing it every day. And the bottle's only 20 mils. The, like, I mean, this Lancome one was 30, and this took me like five months. So clearly, like, when it comes to perfume, I'm not really great at applying it, or I don't apply a lot, really. So, I mean, I think I can finish this in six months months for sure but I'm kind of glad it's something that's a bit smaller. If you're following along with my most recent five pan these next two products are going to look familiar. The first one is the Rimmel Stay Max. That project was all about just hitting pan and I realized like I hit pan I like this product enough I do have quite a few other pressed powders in my collection I'm kind of doing like a little research video right now on those so have a lot of others but I really think this is something that I can finish up within this year and I don't need to bring into 2019 with me so I'm really hoping to finish this one up and especially because I finished that loose powder I was like okay putting in another face powder was a good idea and because I finished up the bronzer I wanted to add in this bronzer and this is the ColourPop Super Chalk Chalk Cheek in a Bon Voyage so I have hit pan and I really love using this as a bronzer but also I really enjoy putting it in my crease and I feel like it just ties the look together a bit more, gives it a bit more of cohesiveness, having those colors together. I really love it in the crease. And I mean, I don't know if like cream bronzers are really like my thing, but I have this in my collection. I don't want it to dry out and go bad. I might as well try to use it up. And I mean, I was able to hit paint on it. I put in that other project. I can see how it fits in my routine. So I know how to use it. So basically I just want to use it, get it out. And who knows if I will purchase another cream bronzer. I don't know. At least not something like this. Maybe if it was a stick. I do like cream stick products, but just like something like this that's cream, I, do, I, do, I don't really enjoy using this. So that is it. Sorry this was like a, such a long update, but I just finished so many project, products and rolling them in and just, yeah. So if you enjoy project pans, then make sure you subscribe so you can hear what, how it happens with all of these products. And I do have another project I'm going to be starting with in you're going to hear about it later this week. Um, what else you're going to hear about this week is my June favorites and June empties. I know I'm like super far behind, but if any of those things interest you, then make sure you subscribe and ring the little bell so you're notified when I post those videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.